Push was published in 1996. And I understand you were approached many times about I a movie. Right. And you said, quote, I felt like a movie might box her in and I wanted her to be free. Yeah, I mean, you know, once, um, once a movie happens, and particularly um, a bad or exploitative movie, then you have that vision of the character forever, you know what I mean? Um, and I, you know, to bring in another story, my, my dad was a military person, and of course, the military is not always at war, thank God, and one of the jobs that he had when he was off, off duty on the base, he would work as a projectionist. So before films were shown with computers, yeah. they were there had to be a human being there to I show those, those. movies. <laughs> and I would sit up and I would watch all these films of you know uh, these beautiful white women and beautiful white men. And if there was a black woman in it, it would be the obese kind of ugly maid shuffling in. Yes, mm -hmm. sir, sir. You know. And I would think of how humiliated and ashamed I would feel once I realized, because at first, of course, I identified with the beautiful white people. And then I, then I realized, oh, I'm not them. My daddy and mommy are not them. We're that, you know, the maid, you know what I mean? And I, and I thought about what a hard moment that was for me as a young woman. And I didn't want that to happen to my film. I didn't want, um, I had, taken some very sensitive material that wasn't my life experience. I'm, I've, I don't know anything about welfare. Uh, my parents always worked. So I had, I had gone into uh, uh, something that I had seen and I had portrayed it as sensitively as I could. And women who had read the book came to me and said, thank you. And I didn't want them to go see a movie and feel ashamed. I didn't want uh, heavyset black women to look to see a movie image of someone like Precious and feel ashamed, you know? I wanted it to, I wanted them to feel the pain that our situation, our collective situation brings, but I didn't want them to feel You didn't want it, it to be exploited. Exploited, and so I just said no. And no one could, no one who came to me was really showing me that they could do it in any other kind of way. With dignity and with respect. With dignity and, and at the same time really going for the, the grit and the pain that's in there. I mean, I'm sure someone could have made it a, a, a stand up and deliver type film, you know what I mean? That type of inspirational uh, teacher saves um, student type film, but would they be able to show the um, abuse in the home that had driven her to this and still have a character that we could uh, empathize with as opposed to pity? So, so why, why, what happened? You well, what really happened? Emotional. You're making me emotional. <laughs> I know, emotional, but. <laughs> I know. It was, because it was such an, it was like, you know. It's your it's baby. A, it's a baby. It was my, my precious baby. And um, um, so Lee Daniels had approached me. And, um, and I, I told him no. You know what I mean? I told him no. This is the director. The director and the producer, the executive, one of the producers. And um, he, uh, I said, I sh you have to show me some work that you've done that, that shows me that you can do something about women and sensitive issues. And, and, I, and I just, and I, he was so over the top. I just, you know, get you know, out of here, dude. And uh, then I guess around three years later, his, his, his people called my people, you know, his agents and stuff and said, You have Look, people too? Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, I, literary agent, so he yeah. has big people, you know. Yeah. And they said, come, we'd like Sapphire to come to this screening for this film called Monster's Ball. And I said, you know, like, I am busy. <laughs> I'm not going to this screening. And I didn't. And then I guess around a month later, I was walking down Broadway around 19th Street, and I see the marquees at Monster's Ball. I said, let me check this thing out, see what this crazy dude is doing. And I went in there, and um, I just sat there and thinking, oh, my God. I told this dude no.